My name is John Bradley, and today we're going to be discussing how to do a merit mark resubmission. As you can see, I've already started DB2000, so I'll just go to the merit mark grid by clicking on the MM button. And you can see that all of the records in the grid have a submission status of submit, which is how they would normally be found following an original submission. When you received your notice from the area monitor, as to his uh, evaluation of your submission, there would have been a file attached to it. And you should have saved that file because you can now come over here and use the submission status update function under the file menu and point to that file and just do an immediate submission status update. You'll see that this one particular record was rejected. If, however, you fail to save that, and I'll change all of these back to no recommendation and then change them all to submit, you could come into the one that was rejected and change it to rejected and then change it to resubmit. At this point, I'm ready to submit a resubmission and this is what's really important so I come into the review mode and over here this has to agree with what I intend to do so I'm going to make a resubmission and I can see the the value of what I've done and this is this is my recommendation and I notice that oh I failed to update what he really did or to enhance what he did so I'm going to just paste something that I had previously cut from this. And then, remember, it's still a resubmission. I'm going to go back into here, set this up for resubmission, check the last. I can see now that it's got the value that I wanted. So I'm going to now click on Submit via Web. This will open up my browser and bring up this page. I want you to notice this line of bold text. That's actually the complete path and file name of the file that we need to submit. Now I'm going to click on the Browse button to open up a dialog. You'll notice now that I'm going to be dragging this. And the way we drag this box is to find the border at the top. We click on it and hold the, the mouse button down. Now I'm going to drag it down so that it is directly over one might say overlining the line of text so that I can always find it easily. Now, I need to find C, Documents and Settings, JRB, My Documents, DB2000, V3, and then the file name. So I'm going to come over here and look at Local Disk C, and then I'm going to go to Documents and Settings, and then JRB, and then My Documents, and then DB2000 V3, and then I need to find the file. So I'll scroll across until it, I get to the EF, and here's the file. So I click on that, click on Open, and it fills this all up. Now in some browsers, you might actually be able to cut this entire line of text and paste it into here. But I found with that with the more current browsers, the only thing that really works is the Browse button. Now the email address down here can be enhanced to send it to two different user IDs. So I'm going to send it to myself. And there it is. So when I click on Submit MM, that's all there is.